Are you ready for your main event? We got strap season, I feel. We got strap. This is your main event. Leave nothing in the tank. Make as much noise as you can when this fight starts. Introducing first, Benjamin Boyd. Oren Palmley won the title on our last show, XFC 47. His opponent actually called out about two weeks a week before the show, so we had to put the call out to try and find somebody on a week's notice. Benjamin Bowd was one of those names that came in front of us. The way that it kind of worked, we went, we actually uh, gave Oren Palmley two options, Benjamin Bowd and his opponent he actually fought on the night. Oren Palmley knew that the other opponent had a higher ranking, so he went with that one. He wanted the absolute toughest fight that he could go for. But out of respect for Benjamin Bowd to say, look, sorry, mate, you haven't got the opportunity, we made sure he got the next one. Awesome. So massive props. So Benjamin not only tried to get this fight on a week's notice on the last show, but was more than prepared, obviously, to put a full fight camp in to make it happen this time. Yeah, and that being said, like I mentioned, he has a, a, a striking pedigree that, it, that runs deep. So he has eight fights in Muay Thai, 12 fights in boxing, one fight in K1. He holds the Queensland title in boxing, the Southeast Queensland title, and the Golden Gloves. So I mentioned before, if Oren wants to stand and strike, he has certainly found his match, and Ben would have fixed him the holes that may have been in place with grappling. He will know what, it, what he needs to do to keep it standing. So it becomes a complex chess, chess game here now in terms of who can inflict their match first? Yeah, really looking forward to seeing this, the way this pans out. Obviously, Ben doesn't think Oren wants to stand in front of him. Let's see how it falls. And his opponent, out of the red corner, Warren. Palmy! Here's the champ. The, whoop, whoop, the champ is here. <laughs> and the Palmleys are XFC family. They have been a part of XFC since day one. Kyle, his brother, older brother, former XFC champion. And again, the, the thing I love about Oren Palmley, he's belt proud. Yep. He's the sort of bloke that literally wears his belt to bed. And anytime you see him outside, he's got his XFC ring on as well, which I absolutely love about the kid as well. So, as a promoter, there's nothing makes you prouder than knowing just how much that belt means when it's around their waist. I was loving the... I got about 50 little video snippets of him just replaying his fight <laughs> over social media the day after. He was absolutely loving it. If you want to see how proud they are in terms of representing their club and also having the achievement of the XFC belt. Between him and Lonnie Filamahala, the insights and stuff and banter they throw on Instagram between each other around <laughs> whose belt's more impressive, and mate, it, it, it's non-stop. Um, uh, I don't know how Jason manages the egos that would come <laughs> from it, but once again, it, it is the piece of, this is a sport that can humble you very, very quickly, so celebrate what you have, but always stay hungry. And Oren is certainly doing that. Rocking the Havoc pants as well. For the hundreds in attendance and the many more streaming on Sports Flick, this is your main event. Three by three minute rounds, and it is for the XFC Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, in the blue corner, weighing in at 96.7 kilos, fighting out of elite martial arts, Benjamin the Terminator Boyd! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 96.3 kilograms, training out of Game Brown Academy. He has an amateur record of five wins and one defeat. Give it up 
for the amazing Oren Pablo! Expectations are what we want. Make sure you push the mic on all the time, defenses all the time. For the Bell Boys, good luck to you both. The thing I love about MMA and boxing and everything else is no matter how much trust talk goes before the fight, like I don't think he's gonna stand in front of me, I don't want to, I don't think he's gonna do this. We're about to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is there's no hiding. Like. That's right. It, this isn't a virtual sport. We're actually about to see if he will stand in front of him. I think he will. Bang. Oh such a strong, powerful kick. Oh! Jesus. And this is the point. Sometimes people have your, your guard oh. on spinning back it. Yeah, didn't like that one. Backpedaled straight away. He's loading up. And even when you have your guard against your body, it's still, the power's still going through. Such a, such a good work. Ooh. He's the biggest ninja I've ever seen. <laughs> Again, people at size. Oh! up there. Oh, oh, wow! Oh, 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 wow! Oren Palmy! Will he stand in front of him? Yes, he will! The amazing Oren Palmy! Oh my gosh! I want to swear, I want to cry, I don't know what I want to do. I'm waiting for the replay, check this out! Check this out, nice head kick! This kick is a highlight! Please tell me we got, there it is! Wow, yeah, it's them. coming. Yep, here we go, we're linking in here. Here it is. One, and then next. Boom! Oh my and, god! And that's rocked him. Oren saw enough in his eyes that he wasn't there anymore and wanted to make sure and put the final stamp on it. How many highlights have we seen tonight? This, this is the sort of viral, the viral stuff that we see on the internet all the time. That was phenomenal. If you need a single movement to put a promotion video together. Oren just delivered it in spades. Yeah. Here we go, another replay. There's that one kick to start with. And then we step in here, he's, he's lined it up. Watch this. Bang, and you'll see from here. That one, the step back, he yeah. didn't like it. Ben is actually rocked from that orange saw in his in his eyes. Is it just and decided to finish it? Is it just me, or every time I see Oren and then see him compete, he's like eight thousand times keeps faster than I'm expecting? Tell you what, though, that spinning kick reminded me a lot of uh, Lockyer Walton putting the damage <laughs> on Connor Birch. That's where he got it from. <laughs> definitely, definitely learn it from the lock monster. <laughs> I'm not sure if anyone's told uh, Oren that he's actually quite a big boy. He's still <laughs> fighting like a bantamweight. Oh, it's ridiculous, <laughs> isn't it? That's scary. That is, again, how many people we talk about, we say we're, they're the next big thing. We just saw it again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the referee stopped this main event in round one after 46 seconds. For your winner by TKO, the amazing Oren Palme! Huge respect for Ben there. And again, Amy Ketchell from On Top Concrete. On Top Concrete and our biggest supporters. I tell you what, that's probably the, the, the tenth or eleventh time she's put a belt around a champ. Even she's probably thinking right now how phenomenal that performance was right there. Absolutely. Another belt added to the uh, the trophy cabinet. The thing I love about XFC, every belt, every title fight, they get a new belt. These Game Bread boys are just collecting them at the moment. Racking them up. And again, you know the strange thing? I'm kind of sitting back thinking here, like, I wanted that fight to go on a little bit longer, but we saw everything. Yeah, yeah. That was absolutely amazing skill set, uh, Shane. Lauren, congratulations uh, on defending it once more. It, hey. You talk oh. a little bit about what it means to hold that belt. It means I'm the best. That's all it means. You I tell am them. I'm the best. I'm the greatest. I'm the strongest. I'm the fastest. I'm the smartest. I'm the best. Tell me a bit about what's going on at Gamebred because I hear things. Tell me about what that does for you. Well, Gamebred is the number one gym in the country by far. We have got three representatives going to Australia. 
We're going over the worlds. We're going to compete at worlds. We're just too fucking good. The amazing, the amazing baby. Who, anyone else you want to thank? Who do you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank my family. I want to thank my coaches. They're there for me all the time. I want to thank my sponsors, Havoc. You guys are brilliant. You beautiful, beautiful people. Woo! Man, this feels great. This feels too good. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? I will say this. Thank you so much for taking the fight. Thank you so much for taking the fight. I don't have anybody taking these fights. They're all a bunch of fucking pussies. They can't fucking handle this. I'm too fucking good. Well, you heard it here. They're all a bunch of... No, 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 it doesn't end there. <laughs> Sir, may you please drop this mic. I am the amazing Oren fucking Palmy. Takes the cake with the people who've spoken about with the mic in their hands tonight. That was phenomenal. I'd just like to say, what a what great an awesome way to wrap up XFC 50. XFC 50. My name is David Nash. And I'm Bala Mukaraka. It's been a pleasure, whether you've been here in attendance or watching on Sports Flick, whether you're going to be here in attendance at the next one or streaming again, we want you to be part of every show that we have. Thank you and good night.